Hi everyone, my name is Gidon Besaidnaat and I am an application engineer for micrographics. <clears throat> Today we're going to have a look at what some of the differences are between Autodesk Vault Basic and the Vault Professional versions. Um, when we talk about Vault Basic, it's also available when you purchase the PDM collection and including in the PDM collection for the design and manufacturing you do get all your AutoCADs, your Fusion, Inventor and also Vault Basic. Now we have come across where quite a few uh, customers might ask what the difference is between Vault Basic and Vault Professional. And today we're going to have a look at what some of the differences are. Now I have created a table um, and we'll just have a look at some of these differences. When we talk about the data and IP security, as you can see, um, the security is more or less similar between Vault Basic and Vault Professional. So yes, it has both does have a central location for product data, permissions for editing and viewing data, customizable permissions. It's only available in Vault Professional. So that is one of the differences, is your customizable uh, permissions within your IP security. Uh, you both, uh, Vault Basic and Vault Professional both can backup and restore utilities. Uh, Vault Professional also has the capability for you to set up incremental backups. Uh, where you can customize the incremental backups uh, within the administrative settings and so on. And yes, they both can check in and check out files. When it comes to checking in and checking out files, it's also quite good for quality management um, as if you've got, let's say for instance, quite a few different uh, draftsmen working on the same pro project um, when Draftsman A is working on part A, uh, Draftsman B, when he wants to work on part A, you'll see that Draftsman A has checked it out and is busy with any customizations or updates as needed or required. <clears throat> now when we go to the next category, you'll notice that there's quite a big uh, differences between the two. So when it comes to data, for instance, capturing and reuse of information, uh, Vault Basic does have a version history, so does uh, the professional. Now where one of the differences come in, professional also does have the revision and release management. So you do have revision control and revision uh, within the Vault Professional. So when a drawing has been updated, so as you know, every time when you save a file, that is what we would call a version. But when you create a revision within uh, Vault Professional, you can have the revision control and you need to create You need to create a change order. Now within the change order, you also do have your quality standards and traceability. So that's quite good uh, when it comes to professional, uh, especially if you think about the quality side and traceability. Now with both, you can do a copy design but with professional, you can also categorize any data uh, classifications, customize the objects and business within the integration system. When we look at the engineering productivity, uh, the basic does has 
does have advanced search tools, but what sets it apart is within Professional, you also do have automatic part numbering that you can set up. So you can create your individual and unique parts, a numbering system, uh, you can rename with automatic part numbering. You do have advanced copy design with it, uh, sheet set management, and batch plotting. So you do get quite a lot more with the professional version. And with both the basic and the professional, you can view where the files were used and what it was used for. So if we scroll, drop, uh, scroll down. Now here we also do have quite a few different uh, aspects between the basic and professional version. Uh, when we talk about collaboration, so collaboration can be between different draftsmen, can be between customers and yourself and so on. So yes, you do have your check in and out functionality within both but with Vault Professional you also have a view only access with the thin client so that's also quite nice and yes both have uh, capabilities for Microsoft Office integration now this is where you also do get more to the advanced and administrative side within Vault Professional as you have non-CAD read write access you have a capability for Autodesk shared views drive integration uh, Fusion Teams BIM 360 connection and multi-site replication and then both have access to the shared content libraries as you can see with Vault Professional uh, especially if you start working on your collaboration and your team expands uh, professional is quite handy as it does have quite a lot of revision control more capability in your administrative settings and rights uh, your collaboration and that you have the access to uh, the thin client and for the view only access When we look at the process management uh, with professional, you also do have more capabilities, like I said, with the administrative side and the management side. So with uh, the professional version, you have design review and markups. You can automate change orders, revision management and history, the life cycle states. So for instance, when we talk about life cycles, that would be the life cycle from, for instance, work in progress or to a release state or something in that lines. Also, bill of materials, items management and project reporting. And then lastly, we're going to look at the compliance process. With professional, you do have customizable life cycles to standards um, that you can process your engineering data standards and enforcement. And then with basic and professional, you do have managed compliance documentation. Now, this is some of the key highlight uh, differences that are set up in a document just so that we can have a good look at what the difference is between your Vault Basic and Vault Professional. And as you can see, with the Vault Professional, you do get just so much more in your management system. Um, and it's quite useful uh, when you have collaboration, your administrative settings, revision control, life cycles, and that's just to highlight some of the key differences and then one of the great examples is the optimization of 
uh, job numbers or drawing numbers or part numbers in that instance can come quite in handy and save quite a lot of time. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, please like and subscribe for more.